everyone and welcome to a new video of this channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about Farmer's World which is basically uh, another play to earn NFT project that's pretty trendy right now and that's pretty cool as well. So we'll be reviewing the kind of stuff you could be doing on that platform, how it works, uh, what other features and benefits that it has everything that you need to know about it. So stay tuned to discover all of these things. But before we get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we daily talk about cryptocurrencies, NFTs, DeFi, as well as digital assets. So if you enjoy our content, go smash the like button. If you want to learn some more about these things, subscribe to this channel, activate a little bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. And if you have any question, any requests, anything you would want us to talk about in our next videos, let us know in the comment section below. All right, so let's get started. Basically, the idea of Farmer's World is pretty simple, and that is that you basically are going to be uh, buying pieces of land, buying farms, and using them in order for you to grow your, um, yeah, your, your empire, if I can say this way. Uh, so basically, yeah, you will get your piece of land, and then from this piece of land, you're going to be able to get tokens out of it, NFTs that you're going to be uh, buying at first and then once you bought it you're going to be able to scale up uh, flip your nfts flip your tokens as well what you have in the game and you'll be able to you know buy more stuff buy bigger stuff and then just scale and grow uh, everything that you own inside of the game what's pretty cool though is that uh, the opposite of a regular game in which you would basically do that here everything is tokenized for the for the people who don't know what uh, everything is that we're talking about right now is all about. The idea is pretty simple. All of the uh, assets that you're going to owe inside of your game are going to be made up on the blockchain. Uh, so it's usually the Binance Smart Chain. Um, I think it is as well in this case. And the idea is that it's, you know, it's whether an NFT or a crypto that you're going to be owning and then it will have a real value on the market, which means that it's it's really not just about playing a game. It's it's more than that. There are many other possibilities from that. Uh, if you guys haven't seen them, I recommend to go check out our other videos about NFTs uh, that are made on the play to earn basis, in which we review uh, you know other projects that work in the same way, so that you guys can understand a little bit better what this is all about. So as you can see this is pretty huge so this is a game that gathers around 150,000 players all over the world so pretty cool if you guys want to learn some more or meet these people you can always join their discord telegram or twitter where you're going to get more information about it if we had to talk a little bit about the game this is what we could say basically um you're going to have several missions inside of this game one of these missions is going to fight against wild animals because as it said right there peaceful isn't going to last forever and so you're basically going to have to face these situations as well where you have wild people wild animals coming into your land so yeah you know it's part of the game then you're going to have mining which is basically what you're going to be getting that which you can make money out of which is that if you have a farm if you have the capacity of mining stuff then you're going to be able to mine and get uh you know a little bit of the token uh for yourself and for the people who you know mind with you um and so that's one of the ways that you're going to be able to develop passive income inside of this play to earn game so it's pretty cool because you know it's it's not always about you know buying and selling there are several ways you're going to be able to uh, maximize your profit inside of this game um, and so it, it is pretty cool. You can do several stuff, cultivation, mining, building, um, as you can see here. And so this game is pretty cool because it offers the capacity to do several stuff at once inside of this game. To get started, you know, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is to click on play and earn, and then you're going to be headed to another website, which is the same one, but just another, uh, you know, like another, um, exploration like page and then from this page you're going to be able to connect to your wallet and get started to buy your very first nft and then you'll be ready to apply then the next thing you're going to be doing is breeding which is basically get to prepare your own food so that you can ensure that if a war ever happens then you're going to be able to be safe and secure with your food and every animals that you have been raising so in this case we're talking about 
like chickens or, you know, other animals uh, that you potentially can uh, raise so that you can produce food and so on. And so basically it's all about, you know, as if you're in real life with a farm, it's going to work pretty much the same way with the only difference that it's tokenized once again. <laughs> Then you're going to get building, which is basically the idea that the farmers build cow sheds and chicken coops to expand their farms, solid cages. So anything that the animals can fit into, uh, little houses, maybe a farm, maybe something bigger. You're basically going to be able to, to build all of these things uh, and free to buy them so that you can expand your village and your farm. Then you're going to get cultivation, obviously. Uh, planting your own food and and then cultivating what's uh, going to, you know, what the plant is going to bring you. And it's definitely another way for you to be able to feed yourself and, you know, your animals in the future. So lots of different possibilities inside of that. And this is what this game is all about, you know, like developing and stuff. So you have a welcome drop, which is... Well, which was actually the 10th of September 2021. Uh, it's unfortunately <laughs> over, uh, but I mean, you can still get in pretty easily for a pretty advantageous price. Uh, basically, you can see that the membership, you, you kind of get to, you know, pay your membership uh, that you can, I think you can start without these, though this is probably the, the premium version where you, you basically have a membership pack uh, and you're going to pay that five thousand five hundred and fourteen dollars uh, and you're going to get lots of NFTs from that. Then you have the welcome pack, which is four hundred and forty two point eighty dollars. Uh, same, you're going to get lots of different NFTs. And from that, you're going to be able to build something bigger. It's kind of random, though, because you don't really know what you're going to be getting. But this is also what is tricky and funny about this game. Uh, and then you have the little love, which is $322.50. And then you will get lots of different tokens in it. And, you know, it's it's a lot about not, not knowing what you're going to be getting and, you know, working on that as well to make you grow faster and bigger. Um, and, you know, it's, it's pretty much like in life. <laughs> uh, then you get new features. Uh, right now you can raise cows. Cows are ready to grow. Match your cows can intrabeed and produce calves and that means that from the beginning uh you can literally get to have two cows and then start up creating a family of cows with a you know little caves that are going to you know be raised and grow and then you're going once again to be able to expand the total number of cows that you're going to have in your farm so that you can literally you know, feel free to do whatever feels best, uh, whether selling, keeping, producing milk, producing other stuff. I don't really know uh, all of the capacities that you're going to get, but there will be different capacities and different stuff you're going to be able to do. And basically, uh, these are some NFTs that you're going to get inside of the game through uh, the shape of a card. So you have the chainsaw, you have the mining excavator, you have the fishing boat, you're going to have the fishing net, the eggs, uh, and all of these things are basically going to let you produce stuff. So in the case of fishing road, getting fish, uh, you know, getting fish, eggs, you're going to be cutting lots of stuff so that you can produce, I don't know, maybe wood, uh, fishing net once again, the same, fishing boat, same, mining excavator, going to be able to get a lot, lot of gold instead of just using manual um Exercise for, to do that, you're going to get a lot more gold this way. Chainsaw is going to let you produce wood from trees. And so, you know, it's a lot about getting stuff from your NFT. So invest your money into lots of different NFTs that will let you get other results and produce other assets uh, so that you can grow and, and once again, get a lot more assets and a lot more value from your farm. And so this is what is awesome about the way the concept is made. Then other types of NFTs that you're going to be getting inside of this game are the farm animals. So this is where you're going to get your calves, baby calves, as well as bull, dairy cow, chick, uh, chicken egg, and so on. And this is one of the things that will let you grow your farm uh, not only in the, let's say, uh, you know, mechanism with 
tools as we saw previously, but also with animals because you need to have animals at a farm, otherwise it's just not a farm. <laughs> and then you have the buildings, obviously, with coop, um, cow shed, farm plots, and all the things that will potentially become your own world and your own working space inside of this game. And so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If it's the case, go smash the like button. Uh, if you want to follow up what we do on this channel, I recommend to go subscribe to this channel and activate the little bell. Uh, if you have any question, any request, uh, if you have any opinion on that, let us know in the comment section below. We'll have to, we'll be glad to have your feedbacks. If you ever played, what was your opinion on that? If you aren't into that yet, let us know what you think about it. Um, we'll be glad to have a chat. So thanks again for watching and see you guys for our next video. Bye-bye.